Well, I just walked out of the house and I see this huge plume going over the whole sky pink. And then you've got this. It's a wash with blue sulfur hexafluoride. Here we've got the moon shining like the sun. That's what the prophet Isaiah said would happen in the last days. The sun would shine seven times brighter and the moon would shine like the sun. Look at this toxic waste here that they've sprayed in the sky. And then we've got the moon here. One big issue I notice is that people have forgotten what nature is. I think that is because of the rampant technology. Um, people don't understand how weather should function, that weather, we have weather systems, we have warm fronts, we have cold fronts, but of course this has all been substituted with electricity and gas. People don't realize what is happening, what is being done to them. And if they do, they're not saying anything. I mean, we have enough Satanists out there, legions and legions of them, who want to be filled up with the iron. They want to be conformed into the image of Satan, the false rock. That's what this is all about, alchemy. Change. Remember Obama, change you can believe in. Change through transgression of laws, transformation. This all hangs together. I'm just going to wait here and go over the hill so I can show you the toxic sunrise. How often have I heard, oh, it's so cold here. It's never been so cold here. This is a psyop. It's always been cold in winter. A winter should be cold. It depends on where you live, obviously, but here in Germany, we have cold until sometime around the middle of June it starts getting warm. But the last couple of years, what they've done is the changes did not, the changes came gradually, and then suddenly in 2018, which was the 70th year anniversary of Mystery Babylon, which was founded on May 14th, 1948. You can Google that. It was very, very hot. And the reason why it was hot because it was because they kept spraying the sky. Look at this toxic. We've got here blue and white pink, and then we've got pink and white. Take a look here at the moon coming up in that blue shite from hell. It is sulfur. People talk about barium and strontium very well, but I'm talking about alchemy, and that's the truth. I'm not going to cover mercury and sulfur with barium and strontium. Mercury and sulfur are the tools of the devil. In fact, mercury is another name for Hermes, and Hermes is another name for Satan. Look at this, how they're covering up the moon now. They want to make a certain impression, you see. And if they can't, then they just cover it up. They, I think they're changing the color of the moon to make it look like the sun. This is according to scripture. In the last days, the sun will shine seven times brighter and the moon will shine like the sun. Take a look at these stripes back here. This is how they get their electrical charge. Anyway, incrementally, it's been getting warmer and warmer. 2018 was abominable. It's not so much the heat. If it were really heat from the sun, that would be a different story, but it is heat from the furnace of Egypt, which is full of the false rock, which is sulfur and mercury, which creates heat. These are metals, these are heavy metals. They're spewed out of the nuclear, so-called nuclear power plants. Nuclear is just a fancy name for chemtrail. They do, they spew chemtrails from the ground up and they spew chemtrails from the air, the the um, heavens down and then everything is electrified with this that is why we have this that's why we have so much building buildings absorb heat on the top of these buildings they build this crap recently in Frankfurt 
I had my camera, but I, I just, I realized it too late, so I couldn't film it. There was a huge hydraulic arm reaching up to the top of this high uh, apartment building, putting up these things, these antennas. There already were antennas there, but they were putting in bigger and taller antennas. And I just thought, oh my gosh, you know, they never get enough. They never get enough. They never get enough treachery. Take a look back here at this toxic sunrise. Look at that. It's all been sprayed in and yet people will tell you, this is the light from the sun. Are you kidding me? Oh, this is physics. Yes, it's official. It's physics. It's science. And this is the truth. Science has supplanted truth with make-believe. And if you believe the make-believe, you look at this. There's no fog here to be seen. Last week, fog, fog, fog. Crazy. Take a look. Somebody crashed. Um, what else? Oh, uh, let me think if I have anything else that I want to say before I turn this off. Um, the more they spray in the sky, take a look here, the warmer it gets. If they leave the sky alone, why, why is, look at this V shape. See how this is sprayed in here like spokes? They're spraying vortices in here, which soak up the atmosphere. Yesterday, and the last couple of days, of course, I'm out every day with my horses, but the last couple of days, the air has been cold, but they did have the glow ball. They're, they're training lasers onto the sun. It's all smoke and mirrors, literally, literally and figuratively. Satan wants you to believe that he can work metaphorically like the Lord God Almighty. But of course, he can't, it's all, just look at this, you see this, it's, you cannot deny it. It's been sprayed in here like spokes. This, all, even this blue is fake. This is not blue sky, it is blue gas. You can see it here in relief to the pink. And then back here we have orange. Here we have pink as well, lines, stripes. And then you've got here this fulcrum. Looks like a bulb at the end of this spoke. This is really, really wicked. The more they spray, the warmer it gets. Back here is another, is that one smoke that they sprayed in? Originally, when they sprayed it in, it was white. And now it's changed to pink, and then you always get the blue in the pink, or the white in the pink. The ACDC. We're being charged up like batteries, being prepared. Somebody said to me, well, really, the iron in the clay of Daniel 2 is all about being malleable for God and not having a stiff neck like iron. That's very true. That's very true. I agree. I never thought of that. That, you know, God does talk about the stiff necks and the sinews of our necks are a bit so stiff and our hardness of our, the hardness of our hearts. Look at this thing. That is just really grotesque. Really, really bad. And yet people don't see it. People say, isn't that beautiful, that natural wonder? But what I started saying was people have forgotten that it is cold in winter and they think it should be warm all the time. And they keep saying, oh, it's so cold here because of the chemtrails. It's so cold. And really what they're doing is they're just agreeing with Bill Gates because Bill Gates says that he's going to spray dust in the air and make it cooler. I'm telling you, if you, ha if you have a kettle on the stove and you're adding ingredients it's not going to get cooler unless you put ice in and this is these are not ice crystals here this is metal metal conduct look at this metal conducts electricity and this is what they want and all of these lines connect look at this and when real clouds appear on the horizon they inject them with this electricity and they're exploded. They don't want us breathing in oxygen. Oxygen depletion is what causes sickness. When people go into the hospital, they put them on oxygen. That's the first thing. People need fresh air. People need real air. This is not real air. Take a look. This thing is beginning to spawn clouds. You can see this bulb coming out of here. Look at it, it's green. Pardon my mirror, it's dirty. Everything's dirty. 
and dusty. And then you've got this black blight here covering the pink. Oh dear, if people only knew and when you tell them about chemtrails. I was talking to somebody on the weekend and he was telling me about chemtrails and I said, this is what's making it so hot. And he said, no, no, it's not the chemtrails that are making it hot. And I thought, what are you talking about? Of course it is. Obviously. And a lot of time you'll be outside and you'll think, oh, there's no breeze, there's no air. And then all of a sudden, a breeze will come. And this breeze is resulting from the mercury. mercury. This is how mercury acts. Mercury soaks up oxygen and spews it back out. Uh, it, when, it, when it comes to a boiling point, the, the mercury that is sprayed here will soak up oxygen and then it will spew it back out. And when it does soak up the oxygen, it turns yellow. It's burning. It is on fire. Here's the moon again. What they're doing is they are trying to, and I'm talking about the cabal, the evil forces that should not be. They do not have power. Only God has power. And if you notice, Satan does very little by himself. He always has his minions. And he works by blackmail. He says, you kill your mother, and I'll give you this information. I'll give you a diamond ring. I'll give you a car. I'll give you a, a spouse. Whatever. Whatever you want, I'll give you. But it's going to be... It's going to cost you something. This is why there's so much bloodshed on the earth. Because people are transgressing the laws of the Almighty and clinging to idols. This life is a drop in the bucket. It is a flash in the pan. But so many people cling to it. They think that gold is going to save them. That is why I believe that um, the mark of the beast is going to be a golden mark. The SDA say that the mark of the beast is Sunday worship. How can that possibly be Sunday worship? If you do not have the mark, you cannot buy or sell. If you worship on Sunday, then they will mark you. You will have to have some sort of a flesh mark because Satan is a flesh God. The Lord God Almighty marks people in their forehead. Look at Cain. He had a mark on him. God put a mark on him so that he would not be killed. Read the Bible. It's all in there. We, we, you know, you can conjecture as much as you want. But if you read the Bible, actually, then you have to go by what the Bible says. If it's not, if you're conjecturing and your musings are not in align with the Bible, then they're not biblical, quite obviously. That's why these SDAs, they're going parallel to the Bible. Which means, in effect, that when Satan and the flesh comes... They're going to believe that it is Jesus Christ, Messiah. Um, I wouldn't even call Messiah Jesus. I don't even like calling him Jesus anymore. Because, you know, this, because the communists call the Messiah, uh, Satan Jesus. Um, you know, it's too much to go into right now, but communism is all about the melting pot of alchemy. Everybody's the same. There are no genders. Everything and all the differences that God made. Look at this. See these stripes here? You think this is natural? Are you kidding me? Look at this. Um, everything and all the order that God made, Satan wants to destroy. There are no men. There are no women. Everything's mixed. There are no animals. There are no humans. Everything's mixed. This is also what it says in Jeremiah 31 if you read it. In the latter days, the, Al the Almighty is going to allow them to mix and mingle the seed of animals with the seed of man. There was a um, YouTube site called Anna the Dragon's Slayer. And she did videos on the fact that they are not only transgendering people, but they are mingling animal DNA with people DNA and she was showing what she meant she was showing women models so called who she said were mixed and mingled with the seed of horses and if you think about it cabal is a word that has a root and it means horses for example in Italian caballero caballero means um, 
horseman, somebody who rides a horse. And so this all hangs together. It's not only about transgendering, it's about the destruction of everything that God created and called good and very good. The destruction of the earth, the decimation of the trees. Trees in the Bible are likened to people. Look at the, look at the Messiah, tree of life. Look at Satan, tree of knowledge of good and evil. Look at this, look at this blight. Who the heck knows what's all in it? They could be putting virus in this as well. Who knows, and this is just my opinion. Disclaimer here, take a look at this. It's growing, it's splaying, and it is not making it colder. That's what makes me so angry about these comments because they're, they're dingbats who are talking about this kind of stuff. It's getting colder, it's so cold. I'll tell you what, in reality it is cold. And if they didn't cover up the reality with these iron, these cast iron blankets, then it would be much colder because we are in the day of the Lord now. Take a look. Why do we have all, and I'll tell you what, this is also an alchemical factory. A lot of times they spew white crap out of these buildings. It's, it's just too much. People aren't seeing it. People don't care. People don't understand. You must understand this is what is making it warmer. They want to create hell on earth. This is the climb it change. Tower of Babel, take two, descent into hell.